We're going to talk a little bit about all four of the Apple One computers here at the Bubble Computer Museum in Floyd, Virginia. This Apple One here was purchased from the original owner and from the one who purchased it from the original store. It was purchased as an operating system. Apple did not make this system, they just made the board itself. And the store uh, built this circuit board uh, components around the circuit board so we had an operational system. If we look this system over carefully, you'll see that the, uh, there's a keyboard that's been attached, a beautiful case, and the power supply components. And all you need to make this operational is attach it to a TV set. Two of the Apple Ones in our museum were purchased, again, from the original owner, Forrest Dustin. These two Apple Ones were used in industrial applications, controller applications. Both are very uh, good condition, however. And all four of the computers we have, if you'll notice the microprocessor chip itself, is the original microprocessor chip that was issued with the first Apple Ones there's no ground strap here on the on the processor chip, a gold strap across there. So this is the first one that we purchased from and this is the second one we purchased from him at the same time. And uh, also very nice uh, condition. This is a replacement capacitor up here. I think everything else is original. I do see a replacement uh, part here. Um, Forrest sold these to us when he's, one of his children was going off to college and he needed some extra funds for school, so he was willing to sell his two Apple I computers. The fourth Apple I in the museum collection is the one we purchased from Adam Skrulski. You notice there are no integrated circuits in this Apple I. It's an unloaded board. This board according to Mr. Skrulski, was given to him by Steve Wozniak. Now, Adam did work closely on a number of projects with Steve Wozniak, and we have no reason to believe this is not true. If you read the book I Woz, you'll see some of the stories about what they did together. And uh, so this one is a very fine board with no blemishes. It's never had power. doesn't have integrated circuits in it, but it's a wonderful specimen of the Apple. One computer. So these are the four Apple One computers that we're so pleased to have here in the Bugbrook Computer Museum in Floyd, Virginia.